Read to Me is proudly sponsored by Clark County Education Association Community Foundation. Lily's Big Day by author Kevin Henkes and read by Jordan Pruitt. Jordan is a singer and songwriter based in Nashville. She has toured with Demi Lovato, High School Musical Tour, Vanessa Hudgens, and the Cheetah Girls. Hi, I'm Jordan Pruitt, and I'll be reading Lily's Big Day. One day, Lily's teacher, Mr. Slinger, announced to the class that he was going to marry Miss Shotwell, the school nurse. Lily's heart leaped. She had always wanted to be a flower girl. It will be the biggest day of my life, said Mr. Slinger. Mine too, whispered Lily. At home in her room, Lily practiced being a flower girl. First time she changed it to something more appropriate. Then she held her head high and smiled brightly and raised her eyebrows and turned her head from side to side and carried her hands proudly in front of her and hummed, here comes the bride and walked the length of her room very, very slowly. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. It will be the biggest day of my life, said Lily. Who are you pretending to be tonight? Asked Lily's mother at dinner. I'm not pretending, said Lily. I'm a flower girl. Mr. Slinger, said Lily. Really? said mother. Really, said father. Really, said Lily. He's going to marry Mrs. Shotwell. He told us today, and I'm going to be the flower girl. You are? asked her father. Did Mr. Slinger ask you? said her mother. Not yet, said Lily. At bedtime, Lily's mother said, Lily, there are so many students in your class. Mr. Slinger couldn't possibly pick just one to be a flower girl. Her father said, it wouldn't be fair. He probably has a niece, said her mother. Maybe Aunt Mona will get married someday said her father. Do you understand what we're trying to say? asked her mother. Lily nodded. Are you sure? asked her father. Lily nodded again. After her parents left the room, Lily said, I understand that I'm going to be a flower girl. The next day at school, during sharing time, Lily said, I've always wanted to be a flower girl, even more than a surgeon or a diva or a hairdresser. The following afternoon, when Mr. Slinger had recess duty, Lily picked a handful of weeds at the edge of the playground. She carried the weeds proudly in front of her and walked very, very slowly past Mr. Slinger until the bell rung. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And in the morning after that, Lily went to the light bulb lab in the back of the classroom. She drew a self-portrait. Mr. Slinger called Lily up to his desk during quiet reading time. Lily, he said, I can tell that you want to be a flower girl, but unfortunately my niece, Ginger, is going to be the flower girl at my wedding. Lily's heart sank. But, said Mr. Slinger, I also want you to know that everyone in the class will be invited to the wedding. We can all dance together at the reception. It'll be so much fun. Lily's stomach hurt. This seems really important to you, said Mr. Slinger. Lily's cheeks turned pink. You know, said Mr. Slinger, I was just thinking that you might like to be Ginger's assistant. You could stand with her and keep her company until she has to walk down the aisle. You could make sure her dress isn't crooked and that her hands hold the flower properly. Lily considered this. You could remind her to walk slowly, said Mr. Slinger. Lily considered some more. You could wear a corsage, said Mr. Slinger. Oh, all right, said Lily, if you really need me so much. Lily tried to get excited about being Ginger's assistant. Weddings wouldn't even exist without flower girl assistants, she told her baby brother, Julius. I have a special responsibility, she told her parents. When her Grammy took her shopping for a new dress for the wedding, Lily told the clerk, a flower girl assistant is very important, important and glamorous. But when it really sank in that she would not be walking down the aisle carrying a bouquet with everyone watching, Lily pretended that her teddy bear was Mr. Slinger. She made him sit on the uncooperative chair. You can just stay there forever, she said. As the wedding drew near, Mr. Slinger counted down the days on the chalkboard. One day closer to the biggest day of my life, he would say. One day closer to the biggest day of Ginger's life, Lily would whisper. And still, at home in her room, Lily practiced. 
She held her head high, she smiled brightly, raised her brows, and turned her head from side to side, and carried her hands proudly in front of her, and hummed, here comes the bride, and walked the length of her room very, very slowly, back and forth, back and forth, and back and forth. The day of the wedding finally arrived. Lily hoped and hoped that Ginger would have pink eye, or a bad fever, or just not show up. But she was there, and she was all ready. Her dress was straight, and she held her flowers properly. Are you sure you want to do this, said Lily. Yes, said Ginger. Are you sure, sure? Yes. Are you really sure you're sure? Lily hoped and hoped that Ginger would change her mind, but she didn't. It was time for the ceremony to begin. The music swelled, everyone stood. The moment came for Ginger to walk down the aisle. Ginger didn't move. Mr. Slinger motioned for her forward. Go, said Lily. Ginger was frozen. Now, said Lily. Ginger was at still as a stone. You can do it, said Lily, but Ginger couldn't. Everyone waited and waited and waited. No one knew what to do, except Lily. Lily scooped up Ginger and said, here we go. Then Lily walked very, very slowly down the aisle. She held her head high and smiled brightly and raised her eyebrows and turned her head from side to side and carried Ginger proudly in front of her. When she reached Mr. Slinger, everyone clapped. I knew this would be the biggest day of my life, said Lily. Lily was so excited, she barely noticed the rest of the ceremony. The reception was great fun. After the cake was served, Lily coached Ginger for the next time she would be a flower girl. I won't be with you at every wedding, said Lily. I won't be able to save you every time. Together they walked back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, very, very slowly. Soon they were dancing. And soon after that, they were joined by Chester, Wilson, Victor, Julius, Mr. Slinger, Mrs. Shotwell, and many others. It's an interpretive dance, said Mr. Slinger. We're doing the flower girl, said Lily. Lily's family stayed at the reception until Lily was perfectly exhausted. But there's something I have to do before we go, said Lily. She needed to find Ginger one last time. And she said, Ginger, when I get married, you can be my flower girl. The end. We want to thank our supporters for making this story possible. This story is provided to you by written permission from the publisher Harper.